Hopkins pursuit and the sprint. And after the enormous build-up required for the world titles in Stuttgart, the team must now begin the long haul again as they gear up for Barcelona and the Olympic Games. Kim Sporton found out our cyclists have spent the past week at Falls Creek for a training camp with a difference. As the sun rose over Falls Creek, some of Australia's greatest Olympic medal hopes were also rising. Fatigued from their recent performances at the world titles, this week was to provide a much-needed mental break for our team's pursuit cyclist, 50k points world champ Steve McLeod, and sprint star Gary Newand. There wasn't a bicycle in sight. The major objective is to finish the day standing up. A directive that was to fall on deaf ears. these guys' legs are their livelihood, you're probably wondering why their coach is letting them risk life and limb so close to an Olympic game. But consider this, the Russians and the Germans both adopt this same exercise for three months of every year. We're after everything we can to ensure that we're one of the best in the world and so we have a strategy planned out for the whole year and this is part of it. They were soon to realise this was no holiday camp. By lunchtime, these elite athletes who cycle up to 300 kilometres daily, were out for the count. There was to be no respite. We cross country on the itinerary for the afternoon. And by day two, they were on their hands and knees to coach Charlie Walsh, pleading exhaustion. It was a diversion from a staggering cycling routine that they were finding most beneficial. What sort of hours would you be putting in uh, when you just start uh, in your normal routine of cycling back at home? Uh, I'd probably do about 100 to 150 kilometres a day. So you put in about three, four hours riding. And then you have weights every day of the week and ergo as well, which is a stationary bike. So it's pretty hard. The youngsters like Stuart O'Grady the team spirit is also important. It's the 18-year-old from Adelaide's first year with the seniors. He was a member of the team that placed third at Stuttgart. Coach Charlie Walsh, always a visionary, has him earmarked as another Dean Wood. His physiology puts him in the super class. He's very good tactically and uh, he's a very determined young character and very well moulded. So, yeah, I'd say that we're looking for things not only from him this uh, Olympic year, but also the following one. And with the Olympic team of seven still to be picked, his sights are firmly set on Barcelona. Very determined. I really would love to go because uh, it just means so much to not only myself but my family as well because Mark went to the Olympics to Tokyo and he supports me quite a lot and I just love to just love to be there, just be there representing Australia. Another big chance is Steve McLeod, the world champ in the 50k points last year and second to arch-rival Bruno Rissi of Switzerland this year. Steve is geared up for Olympic gold, but a lot hinges on the programming. This year was a bit of a mess around with the program because we had the team's pursuit at semi-finals on the same, about an hour before the points final. So I was a bit fatigued from there where he, he had two days rest from his previous event. Also a hot favourite is sprinter Gary Newand. The oldest team member, Gary, already has two Commonwealth Games gold medals and a bronze from the Seoul Olympics. I'll go into the Olympics, hopefully season number two, and anything better than uh, bronze I'll be happy with, and anything equal to or less I won't be, ha uh, won't be happy with. Gary clocked in third at the world titles behind the Germans, but has a better chance at Barcelona, as each country can only field one competitor per track. Charlie is another with a point to prove. He's nurtured the Olympic cycling team since 1980, his long-term strategy is now reaping rewards. In the last three Commonwealth Games, Australian cyclists have brought home 12 gold medals. at Seoul, two silvers and two bronze, and a gold at LA. And under his watchful eye, our future outlook is rosy. Oh, I don't uh, get into the prediction stakes other than to say that we like to think that we will be competitive and we're very determined to be so.